Hello friends, welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to talk about virtualization in telco context. My name is Sanjay Kumar and I'm from Learniso Global. If you're watching this video on our Facebook or LinkedIn page, you can look at the first comment for the link of the complete video. However, if you're looking at this video on our YouTube channel, please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and press on the bell icon for the early notification for all our new videos. If you need any further information, please visit www.lanizoglobal.com. If you want to stay connected with us, you can connect to me on LinkedIn or our YouTube channel. For some real-time updates, you can also join our Telegram group, which is available with the name of Learn5G. All these link, links are given in the video description. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about virtualization, but let's start with some history of 2G, 3G network architecture. However, in this picture, we are not going to talk about all network elements like BTS, BSC, NodeB and RNC. We have multiple videos on our YouTube channel where we have talked about all these things extensively. What I wanted to convey here, in the previous generation of network, most of our products, most of our network elements, as we used to call them, were some vendor specific hardwares and softwares. So typically all the hardwares, all the softwares were coming from some specific vendors and typically those hardware were purpose built. Purpose built hardware means they were specifically designed for certain network function. In case of 2G, 3G network, our network was having two types of core network, circuit switching core network, which was primarily designed for voice and packet switching core network, which is primarily designed for data. However, when we moved from 2G, 3G to 4G network, few things have changed. And what we have done is we have moved from circuit switching network to only packet switching network. So in 4G, we only have packet switching network, but more or less scenario was the same because most of the products, most of the network elements like MME, like HSS or HEW or PGW, they were mostly built on the purpose built hardware. So still the hardware and the software for these network elements comes from the same vendor. However, in some later releases of 3GPP, we have talked about something called as virtual EPC. Virtual EPC where all these network functions like MME, HSS, HEW, PGW or PCRF can be created on some virtualization kind of environments. Now, the VEPC or virtual EPC as we call it can be deployed on private cloud. And in this scenario, what we will have is we will have some generic hardware, which is typically referred as Quartz hardware, commercial off the shelf hardware. On top of that, we will have some kind of abstraction layer, which is typically virtualization platform or some kind of hypervisors. On top of that, we have some kind of virtual machines and all those virtual machines will be having their specific applications, which is can be virtual MME, virtual HSS, virtual SPGW or virtual PCRF. And these things are called as VNFs, VNF or virtualized network function. So instead of having a purpose built hardware for a specific network function, we have a generic hardware and we can separate the hardware from the software. Now you can get the hardware from some, some other vendor and the application from some other vendors. So by this, you are not dependent on the same OEM for buying all the hardware and the softwares. However, we can also deploy our virtual EPC on a public cloud like AWS. In this scenario, EC2 instances, which are typically like virtual machines on AWS public infrastructure can be used for hosting your network functions, which are like MME or SP gateway. Right. So what we are doing here is we are using AWS infrastructure to deploy our virtual EPC. Virtual EPC is the scenario where we are using the core network on a public infrastructure. Now let's move on to 5G core service based architecture. And as we've discussed earlier in many of our videos, the 5G core network architecture is going to be very different compared to the 4G network architecture. In this scenario, this is how the 5G core network looks like. We have a variety of network functions like AMF, SMF, AUSF, NRF, UDM, 
PCF, etc. And all these network functions we have discussed in some other video pretty much in detail. So we are not going to talk about all these things. What we are trying to convey here is all these network boxes, what network function boxes, what you see here, they are not dedicated or purpose built hardware. They are all built on a general hardware, which is typically referred as course hardware, commercial off the shelf hardware. And all these network functions are created as VNFs or CNFs. VNF stands for virtualized network function and CNF stands for cloud network, cloud native network function. So all these network functions are created in some kind of cloud kind of environments and they typically communicate with each other using generic protocols like HTTP2 and the 3GBP specific messages are written in JSON schema. Now, how do we see this in the real environments? So what we will see here is the hardware layer, which is typically the course hardware referred as NFVI, Network Function Virtualization Infrastructure. On top of that, we are running some container and container orchestration mechanism, which is can be uh, which can be something like uh, Docker or Kubernetes. And in these containers, what you see here, we are hosting some kind of microservices. What are microservices? The monolithic software of the network functions are broken down in multiple microservices. And those microservices are hosted in some kind of containerized environments. And a collection of multiple microservices is typically doing a function or that is called as network function. We typically call them as CNF, cloud native network function. So this network function can be AMF, can be SMF, can be some other network functions. This is typically called as cloud native environments. And as we proceed further, we will see a lot of terminologies in telecom world, which is typically called as DevOps, CI, CD, etc. In some upcoming videos, we are going to talk about all these things pretty much in detail. We will talk about what is DevOps, what is CI, CD, and what is microservices and how all these things are relevant to telco networks. That's all what we have in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I request you to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need any further information, please visit www.learnisoglobal.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.